right, well, welcome back to Quail Keepers. Um, this is the day after we opened up and received our um, quail eggs, our 24 quail eggs, and we've let them sit on the countertop in their cartons overnight with the wide end of the egg facing up to allow them to rest. Um, and that's to allow the air sac inside of the egg to reattach to the top uh, in case they were in case it shifted during the shipping process. We also marked the eggs to guess which one we think is male or female. Yes, that's right. So we have an M here for male, and then we have an F here for female. For female. It's just a guess, of course, and it's that little trick that may or may not work, but we were just curious to see if it would work. Okay, so here we have a kind of a homemade DIY incubator setup. And what it is is our food dehydrator that we use uh, during the year for dehydrating food, obviously. Uh, we've installed the five shelves on there to give us enough space between the heating element on the bottom and our incubator box up top. We've had this running for the past several days uh, with a thermometer to calibrate it the temperature. It is at 100, and the recommended incubation temperature uh, for quail eggs is 99.5 to about 100 degrees Fahrenheit and it's been stable. Uh, so that's an electric uh, thermometer that we have here, a digital thermometer. 100 Fahrenheit, we're using Fahrenheit. Yeah. Uh, the probe goes into on the inside of the box. We also have an analog thermometer inside the box as well, just a way to cross check. If you look here, I'm going to open the box briefly here. What you see is we have the probe, we have an egg carton that we're going to use to rest the eggs in. We have this little uh, carton here that we're going to use to help Let me down create, stool. Create, create the okay. angulation on it. And we have to rotate the eggs on a regular basis. In the back we have a little container with some water. There's holes poked in the top and that's to create the humidity that we need. It's recommended to be in the mid 40s during the first uh, 14 days of the incubation. Is this going to be the running, their low running place, or something they going around in? Uh, eventually, yeah. So the incubation process lasts about uh, 17 to 20 days, 17 to 21 days. Usually the uh, eggs start hatching around day 17. Uh, through day 20, 21, there's always a few stragglers. Um, day 15 is a lockdown day? Correct. So the first 14 days, we're, we're going to be regularly rotating these eggs, or tipping the cartons from side to side. And then on day uh, 15... It's a lockdown we, period where you can't open it for any reason? Correct. We'll be taking the eggs off of these uh, carton trays here, resting trays, and then just setting them inside the uh, incubator chamber on the on the bottom uh, level. So first step, we're going to go ahead and arrange all the eggs into the tray here, and then we'll go from there. Okay. So we have our uh, 24 eggs in the carton, uh, and we'll go ahead and set it inside the incubator now. So I'm going to open up the door. Again. All right, we're tipping up the box. That doesn't mean we're going to. Put in lockdown because it's just only to day two. Okay, that's correct. Oh, so, well, it? day two of our project here, but uh, actually day one of incubation. So, uh, 14 days from now, we will be going into lockdown. So, all right. That means 40, for 48 more days until. Right. We'll see you back in several days and update you. Bye.